Hi, I'm Sharon Bridgeforth, and I'm here with this week's That Black Mermaid Man Lady Oracle Reading. Um, on my heart uh, right now is, you know, the massacre of black lives. And like this, it is a wound festering. So I don't think, at least in my experience as an African American, that the wound ever healed. Um, I think our artists throughout time have talked about it. You know, um, the spirituals kind of lifted it and worked to heal through it. Our blues articulated it. Our jazz transgressed it. Our soul music said, fuck it. Um, you know, and on and on. But it's something that this killing, the poli police brutality, the senseless disregard of black, of our lives and our realities, of our brilliance, our intelligence, and all that we offer, um, it, the disregard of it is something that I think most African Americans live with every day and now there seems to be another moment happening with it, something more, something different, something, a new way of hurting us that is occurring. Um, and so I think on my heart is the question of how do you heal when there is so much grief present? How do you love when um, there is rage? And what is it that any of us can do that um, can truly, truly help? So, you know, how do we access grace? Um, how do we live in the traditions that our ancestors have instilled in us that, you know, we stand in today um, of nonviolence, of spirit, of love, of connectivity, of community, of art, of seeing. So <clears throat> this is an ancestor deck, so it's always about love. As ancestors, they have been in flesh and blood, and so they understand this, that we are inside of this moment. Um, and it's a ocean deck, so it's about what's under the surface. So let's see what they want to say for this week. I'll pull three cards um, representing beginning, middle, and end of week. All right. Uh huh. Whoa. Okay. So, <laughs> old Caney Sharp say this is a divine opportunity. <laughs> So this moment is actually an opening for a new, more divine road. And as we stand in those crossroads of choices, um, we stand with all that has gone before, all that surrounds and is within. And we have all of that intellect, that spiritual brilliance and that guidance to lean into. And then we make choices. And I feel like in this moment, it's a divine opportunity for collective choices because we got to do this together. There's no alone in this moment. We, we must love and work and move together. And old Caney Sharp say, you already know. So when the back of the card is blank, um, they're saying you already know, so they ain't talking about it, so therefore I ain't gonna say no more about it. That was beginning of week, middle of week. That black mermaid, man lady. This, in this world, in this deck, represents the um, deity that, the force of nature that is the ocean. So it's like the depth of this world, this that black mermaid, man lady, oracle deck. Um, and in that place, our ancestors, our wealth, our dreams, all that we were before we came and all that we choose to be in our highest um, selves, it's all there simultaneously without veils. 
So it's that deep, deep place that's holding it all, holding the secrets, holding the divine possibility. So I feel like it speaks very clearly with what old Caney Sharp is saying. And that Black Mermaid Man Lady says, let your subconscious mind emerge. They down there, they down there, they look at me, their eyes, they pierce. <clears throat> I know they trying to tell me something, <clears throat> but I always wake up right when they mouths open, right when they mouths open. Fishes and fishes and pearls flow out. <clears throat> I feel like the ancestors are saying that <clears throat> they are with us and that if we breathe into and pray into and dream into our subconscious, we'll be in the crossroads <laughs> knowing what to do. So middle of the week, the great divine mystery is holding us and instructing us. End of week dreamer. And in the world of this deck, this represents your soul. This is the person who is doing the reading or the person that the reading is being done for. So if you're doing a reading for yourself, it's you. If you're doing a reading for someone else, it's them. And it's that great collective. And if you can see, it's like that dreamer, that soul is being held up. It's being lifted. <laughs> it's being supported. It's flying. Uh, it says deep emotions. Well, <laughs> That black mermaid man lady come to me in my dreams, black, black, like a most beautiful night sky, eyes shining like stars, skirt deep blue, dark like skin, hair got thousands, fishes and pearls hanging all the way down past behind. That black mermaid man lady come to me in my dreams, take my hand, pull me down, down, down to the bottom of the ocean. At the very bottom, I see things. So I, you know, I feel like they're clearly saying we are held uh, the work is to dream and to be in the divine moment of what is possible, um, knowing that we are collectively lifted and moving forward, and we're going to fly, baby. <laughs> so get ready to fly with love, rooted in um, divine possibility. All right. Thank you. Have a blessed week. Be tender with yourselves. Be safe, be well.